Hi guys. So, um, sometimes when Randy's working on a project, um, I'm kind of stuck and I don't have anything to do. So I asked him the other day, is there something that I can be helping you with while he's in the shop welding up stuff? So he put me on the task of putting in our electrical outlets, which I have never done before. So, um, I spent one day um, putting in all the single wired feeds and today I'm working on the double wire feeds. So he's coming back and double checking my work and making sure I'm doing everything right. But neither one of us are electricians, um, but we want to do as much as we can ourselves and have pride in it. So I was just going to share with you what I've been doing. So I've already got my wires um, stripped out, ready to go. And because this is two coming in, I don't have to twist the, the ground. We'll leave it because we'll tie the two grounds together and put a, I think it's called a pigtail, on it to tie into the box. Okay, now we just need to get um, some caps and twist these two together and then pigtail it back to the ground down here. So this is what I'm doing currently right now until Randy can come back and inspect and double check my work. Okay, so Shelly's been a real trooper putting all these outlets in. And I thought something was funny when we got those wires. Yeah, you buy these wires for the ground hookup. We are not professional electricians, people, just so you know. We got these, and then we were like, taking the screw off and hooking them on to this ground wire, when what we were supposed to be doing is grounding the box and then hooking all three of them together. So now Shelly's going back. She has to open them back up and go in there and now we got it. So now the box is grounded. Cinch it down tight, baby. You're not strong enough to over tighten it. There you go. And then we'll bring all four of these together. And put the red nut on them. So the wire nuts are what we as amateurs don't know. <laughs> Is that the wire red on the package is so it's like the wire nuts are rated by the number of wires and the size of the wires. So this red one will take four number 12 wires. So we just want to give a shout out to our good buddy Steve for having our back. So um, we were talking with him this morning and showing him what we were doing and he said we were not to code. He, he corrected us. So he In said, a gentle but, way. Yeah, he said my electrical work up to that point had been really good. So I'm very grateful, Steve. Thank you She's for being kind. She's not going to cry for you. If you <laughs> criticize her, she will start crying, people. Hey, this has been a little emotional, so what can I say? But this is an easy fix. I can go back and um, open them all back up and, and get them ready. And then Randy can come and close them back up. Well, i tell you what. I mean, we're using these number 12 wires so that... <laughs> Tell you what, what? <laughs> he had this in his mouth, people! <laughs> number 12 wire is difficult to work with. Yeah, it's really stiff. It's, it's not very flexible. Uh, well, you could get it in different ones. It's what the electrician recommended we use. Okay. Yes. So now we're grounded to the box, to the outlet, to the grounding line, so we're, I think we're good to go. So that's all gonna go in like that. We just gotta get our mud ring and put it on here. It's easy if you go from the top, I have found. This is like, I heard some other guy, some plumber's laughing his butt off, well now some electrician is laughing his butt off. Well, look at those guys trying to figure that out. You want that? Okay, and now this should just 
push on in. I can't believe y'all have been doing this for so long and I haven't come up with an easier way to do this. Here you go. We must be making this harder than it really is. I know. Be Put, gentle in your comments, people. I know. Let it, <laughs> let it fly. Come on. <laughs> Are we making that harder than it is? Well, put your great idea in there, because we'll be done by the time you see this, and you can you can help somebody else out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, there's we got two of them. Okay, guys, I got all of the electrical boxes switched out, um, and Randy came back and inspected everything and put them all back into their little compartments. We've got the the um, mud rings on everything, so. Basically, now we're just ready to hook up to the electrical box. So we've got all of our lines coming in, ready to be hooked up by an electrician. Um, we're definitely going to call in some professional help on that. So um, we just want to thank you guys so much for following us on this journey and know that we love sharing it with each and every one of you guys. And we will just catch you in the next one. Love to you all. Bye.